What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you for choosing once again to click on the channel. This is Oi Oi. I'm simply here to do my job. The messages to the collective is everybody. Thank you guys for your continuous support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, whatever you're doing to support the channel. So we're just going to pull on some energies. Please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We're all stars in our own show. But this may or may not be for you. Ooh. Okay, so we're pulling on these snakes that could have been within your garden. These damn goblins, goons, witches, and warlocks. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a lot of ascension. People waking up. People waking up to what's going on. Especially at this time. It's like the veil's being lifted. You could be seeing some weird stuff. I don't know if you was like me where you had a... Uh, it was one point in time. So keep myself from falling into a deep depression. I literally started wearing a certain hoodie. Um, and it was like comfort. I don't know. Somebody has like their own little coat or cloak or hoodie or something. That they could be wearing. But let's see what this is. Yeah, you could be um, glowing from something that you um, having clarity on in your past life. Um, you could also realize that you could be learning lessons or receiving karma for something that you did. And it's not necessarily something that could have been done to you. Okay, something about um, neon colors, being harmless. Sometimes the things that could seem scary could actually be your allies. I said you can see a person and just because they look a certain way does not necessarily mean this person's evil or out to get you. This could actually be your ally because, you know, beauty comes in all forms. Um, but you will start to realize that it's very important what a person has inside of them. Things are not always what they appear to be. Okay, so I don't know if you've actually been seeing something. Maybe different creatures or different beings and you're like, maybe, uh, I don't know if you're afraid of them or not, but you can start to see, especially when you pray and have discernment on what's really what. You just keep getting, so what was that? Oh, okay. Um, something about bees and honey. Something about something being equally spooky and sweet. So I feel like you could be seeing something and it could scare you, but it's really a sweet. If it's not an actual spirit, an aspiration or something, something about spooky and sweet. There could always be many meanings to something at once. Yeah, so something about shadows and mist. I don't know if you've actually been seeing this and if you haven't, I hope you haven't. Um, but I was picking up, picking that up, you know, people are touching things that maybe they don't have any understanding of, or I don't know. Something about misplaced items. Uh, jewelry, socks. Okay. So that made me think about, y'all know how sometimes when you be washing your socks, as soon as you put them in a dryer, it's like they always, what do they call it? A sock monster? So something about all all lost things and stuff. I don't know if you've been misplacing items or if somebody wants you to believe you've been misplacing items. I don't see what this could be. I feel like you could have a, a it's not an actual, one of these little spurs that actually, look, this is almost like the ferret. Somebody could be taking something. Um, and maybe you, you, you know, you didn't misplace it. Something about random things that's been happening in your life. Yeah. You keep getting it beans. Okay. So this is like spirits. Okay. So let's pull and see what we got. Yeah, so after a level of healing, maybe even healing um, certain addictions, traumas, um, 
habits, energies, or something. You actually opened up something within the spiritual world. I don't know what this is, y'all. Yeah, you could be right now investing into your future or seeing the future of, the, of beauty of certain things. So you got invested into the future. Behind the curtain. What's going on behind the veil? All right, so we got it. Now you can be invested into uh, spiritual things or seeing, you know, things in a certain light other than how you were um, taught to see them. You're seeing things in a different light now. This could also actually be a person. There's a white boy here. Whoever this is could have really long hair. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is saying somebody's hosted something that's really sweet, but this person looks dark. Okay. Okay, so you got true love is known when there is no benefit. I don't know if you actually hooking up with somebody and this person could be uh, very mysterious to you. This could also be like an angel. Somebody has like a an obligation they have to fulfill within this certain time. Um, and maybe you felt like this person was coming to actually do something against you, but this person is coming to help you invest in your future. What is going on, y'all? You don't keep getting Alice. In fact, Alice in Wonderland, don't, you know, drive yourself nuts trying to go down a rabbit hole. Like I told y'all, if it's not on the surface, I'm not going, I'm not following the rabbit to the damn hole. We're going to figure it out up here. Um, yeah, so something about vital information left out of a report. An unknown left, uh, an unknown location, and married into the family in a boat and dock. Okay, so I don't know if somebody actually dealing with a case that involves um, something that could have happened to someone near a boat and dock or an area. Um, someone could have actually been married into the family. This could actually be a white man. Something could have happened. You said, okay, true love is known when there is no benefit. Somebody could have actually been investing some money into something um, or benefiting off of someone. The goblin of all lost things. Vital information left out of reports. So what is this? Yeah, something about some news or something that was on the news involving a, a boat dock or um, a marriage chair of these two people. An unknown location. Somebody's into sigils and shit. Whatever this is, like somebody's into doing. Yeah, it could be high level. Multiple personalities. Spiritual resources. Okay, so somebody's getting caught up for doing something. They maxed out somebody's credit. They invested some money. Um, that they wasn't supposed to. This person could have came in as a love offer, but this was to benefit off of someone's spiritual resources, their energy, their life force. Somebody even called somebody crazy. Okay, somebody somebody called somebody crazy. Um, so I don't know if this person. This is one of those stories where somebody could have leaked some information about somebody. Well, someone found some information out about someone. And so before this person actually invested in this person, um, they wanted to have this person isolated or say that somebody had a personality issue or mental illness. But I feel like there was a police report or there was some type of report, but there was some information left out of it. So let's see. Leaked news. I feel like this is involving a white man. He could have already, you know, went ghost or something. Fertilizing. Trusting in the unknown. Being placed in the untouched. So you keep getting an unknown location. 
This unknown location could be by a boating dock, wherever this person is. Um, somebody could have actually experienced going on a vacation with whoever this is. And once they did, they actually found out some information about this person. What is this? Had someone alter, look up, or use your medical records? Oh my God. Okay, so this is what somebody did. This person is ran out of spiritual credit. Okay, the disappearance could have been somebody's damn finances or their energy. Or they harvest. When somebody connected to this person, I feel like this person could be of another race. This was an interracial relationship. Somebody had somebody look up some information. They had a connection to somebody that worked in one of these companies. So they had somebody look up or use something within somebody's medical record to either say that somebody had multiple personalities. What is going on? Vital information, medical records. Somebody didn't believe you when you said that whoever this person is damn near worships the devil or they do something really creepy because this person works with tarot reading. What is this? Uh, now picking up like a hermaphrodite. What is it called? Somebody that has two parts. This could be one of those men that looks like beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this is, they got long hair. Um, you know, a fit body, something about their tattoos or a sleeve or arm sleeve. Something about this person working with somebody that works at the tarot. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's like a villain and then somebody's not. Somebody's also like a mad scientist or they into this type of, you know, study in science or something. Anatomy, molecular biology, psychology, physics, computer science, chemistry, statistics. Yeah, medicine and scientific study of the nervous system. It functions in disorders. Something about somebody's nervous system. Neuroscience. Okay, so it was a meaning behind whatever relationship. I feel like hopefully you've gotten away from this because there is a debit or credit card. Somebody was into like debit, credit card fraud, um, investing in stocks and trades and bonds. They was working with somebody to have them look up something to use within medical records here. I feel like they wanted somebody to be misdiagnosed with um multiple personality disorders it's like you was trying to tell somebody something but they didn't believe you it was a meaning behind all of this so it says take a breath ask yourself will i lose lifetime rest or money untie the truth an actor or model or some aspect of the economy yeah somebody was an agent they was only around to be you know Somebody was only an agent. Kiss my ass. This person could damn near be a perfectionist. They have beauty illusions, okay? So this is giving me like shapeshifter energy. Somebody that's always appearing to be perfect, but nobody is perfect. But when this, picture, this person takes a picture, it's like they perfect. Something about this person in beauty illusions. Yeah, they needed a cover for a lifestyle. He is dangerous. Oh my God. He and she is dangerous. So this is a karmic couple that's working together. And I feel like they're working together. To, okay, so let me slow down. I get a little excited. A teacher in inappropriate teachings. You need a cover for a lifestyle. He and she is dangerous. Okay, so there's two people that's dangerous here. Maybe you didn't know these people was together because you do have two females and a damn goblin. I feel like it's feet. I don't know. I feel like it's masculine to be the one though because it came out with him. 
So maybe you was investing in the future with somebody. You didn't know this person was into some other stuff. Development, biology, psychology, physics, computer science. Could have did something to max out your credit card for purchasing certain items. But he was working with another female. Needed a cover for a certain lifestyle that they live in. Beauty illusions. Leaked news. Yeah, so you could have been the person that was supposed to bring these people down. Somebody's going down for uh, taking somebody out. This is soiled clothing at an unknown location near Bowling Dock. Yeah, we got to get out of here. You got an aunt. Buy more information. Who could this buy more information with? So you guys, I feel like somebody could be being warned. Ruled on this case without all evidence simply because they had a huge workload. Okay, so there there is a judge that had a huge workload that could have already ruled on a case um involving somebody that fought like it's just like after they maxed out somebody's credit, used somebody's debit card, invested in a bad investment, then they had to have this person committed or they tried to. This person was a whole agent though. Something about this fertilizer, sold clothing, an unknown location, and a boating dock. This person was married into the family, or they working with somebody that was married into the family. Leak news. You had to be with this person or around this person in order to see what you couldn't in this certain area that you was in. Because there were some illusions here. Yeah, something about hidden, um, either hidden money or tax returns. Somebody could have took somebody's um, money. It was a meaning behind everything. This person was operating with their own personal beliefs. They was cool with the family member. Okay, so somebody had a whole deal with a family member, whoever this was, um, to do something hidden. Also with some property. Mm -mm. That's crazy. I have a reason. I guess I'll be like, oh. Okay. So you got, didn't I say this dude was like, really? So you got a false guru involved in some insurance fraud or involved in some fraud. Um, yeah. Bear beauty. Mm -mm. So, I guess that's what it was. We did all that to figure this out. A false guru involved in bank fraud or some type of fraud. Could have been cool with a family member. Something about hidden property. Something about investing into somebody else's future. Um, trying to have this person committed. Um, also, looking up and using your medical records. A judge ruled and didn't even, they didn't even have time to look all the way through this case. Whatever this case was, they would have seen that. There was some vital information left out of certain medical reports, police reports, um, bank reports or something. Somebody used a false report or used some reports because they had some resources with whoever this is. They wanted to label somebody as crazy. They shouldn't have touched you. This shit is crazy. You was coming out. It's a message. <laughs> 